Good morning, it's Wednesday the 22nd of March and I trust you got something decent to start the day with. And if you have your Bibles, turn to Luke chapter 21 verse 19. Now, the context of Luke 21 19 is Jesus is telling his disciples what to expect at the end of the age, at the end of, of the world, when things are coming to a head under the will of God. And he says an important thing here. He says, by your endurance, you will gain your lives. By your endurance, you will gain your lives. In the midst of chaos, in the midst of um, things derailing, in the midst of things going not as you expect them to go, Jesus says you will continue to live. You will maintain your lives by enduring. Now, to endure is to persevere. To endure is to hang in there, to have patience, to remain focused on what it is you have to achieve, to, in a sense, pull yourself out of the, the detail of the day and remember the big picture and hold on to the fact that God is still in control. And speaking of God, what's amazing is Romans 15, 5 says, Now may the God who gives perseverance and encouragement, isn't that encouraging, that God gives us perseverance? and encouragement and yeah jesus is saying those who want to keep their lives those who want to hold on to their lives so what i want to say to you is step back see the bigger picture see the god who's with you in whatever life is throwing at you and I know that South Africa Monday was was uh, uh, EFF called uh, um, demonstration, and there was a lot of anxiety. There was a lot of I almost want to say fear around what m would, what could, what might have happened. And then it was really rather peaceful. And yesterday, being Human Rights Day, we listened to a whole lot of speeches of people declaring what human rights are. But I want to say to you. Forget about human rights. Remember that God has given you rights and his right that he's given you is the right to persevere and to be encouraged because he's the God of perseverance who gives perseverance and encouragement so that he grants to us to be of the same mind uh, with one another in Christ Jesus. So as you and I live our Christ-like lives, help us, let us be a help to one another. Let us encourage one another, even as God gives us encouragement. Let's persevere and maintain our lives, just as God gives us perseverance. Ask Him what you need. Ask Him to help you, to give you the perseverance you need in order to persevere and keep your life. Now that sounds to me like a a win-win situation. God tells you to do something and then he says, I'll give it to you. Well, Paul says, he's the God of perseverance and encouragement. I trust that you find God to be your God of perseverance and encouragement. And as you persevere, may your life be whole and complete and blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Everlasting Father.